What's up everyone? Welcome to Director Discovery and I am Nicholas Clayton Lee. Today I'm going to be telling you about how I feel about the queen of all handbags. Yes, I got my hands on the Hermes Birkin 25. Anyway, let's get into it. So the Hermes Birkin actually has a very interesting story behind it. Back in 1981, an English actress named Jane Birkin was on a flight back to London and she actually got upgraded to first class and she got to sit next to none other than then CEO Jean-Louis Dumas and they got to talking and Jane told him that she actually doesn't have a handbag that has pockets in them. So on the spot, Dumas took out a pencil and started drawing on a sick bag and that is where the collaboration began. And three years time, in 1984, this bag debuted. But it was never popular until the late 1990s and it exploded in the early 2000s because of a TV show, Sex and the City. Because there was an episode where Samantha was complaining about how she can't get her hands on this and how exclusive this is and that there is a five year wait list just to get her hands on this. So this is actually a very rare and very exclusive item. Anyway, let's open this up and see what's inside. A nice dust bag. And here's a manual and a rain protection. I'm actually very curious about this rain protection. So the manual teaches you how to take care of the bag obviously and it's in Chinese, Japanese, French, English of course. And this rain protection, they actually come with two rain protection, it's like a raincoat pretty much I think. Uh, so it's like this big. Can you actually see anyone taking out a Hermes bag and putting this on top in the rain? I would actually love to see that. I've actually never seen something like that before. So, very interesting. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, this is the Cray color, which is pretty much like an off-white. And the hardware of this Birkin are rose golden color. Like our Hermes bags, this bag, of course, has the company's signature love lock set. The Togo leather this bag uses is made from baby calf and is one of Hermes' most popular leather because of one simple reason. It is almost entirely scratch resistant. The leather also has a raised grainy appearance, yet is very smooth to touch. The leather can also easily be refurbished to as good as new if need be. Like our Hermes bags, this bag comes with a lock, two keys, and a clochette that is usually dangled on the front of the bag. So what else is left but bag test? And this time, I'm gonna put the essentials and I'm gonna try and put a little more because this bag seems like it could actually hold its own. Anyway, let's see what I can stuff inside. So I put a powder, car keys and house keys, lip balm, concealer, hand sanitizer, hand lotion, cologne, brow pencil, airpods, face cream, wallet, my iPhone, and a t-shirt. Now give me 30 seconds to try to close this bag because of its great design. And done. So as you guys can see, the Hermes Birkin 25 can actually fit quite a lot of stuff and this is actually the smallest Birkin out there. There's also a 30, a 35 and a 40 and I actually know quite a few guys that are interested in the Hermes Birkin 40. Which to me is quite interesting because I can never imagine myself carrying one of these no matter how big this is. But there are some things that I really like about this and the one thing is it's very subtle. There's no like Hermes logo. And there are only two, which is very, very subtle and stealthy, is right underneath the left buckle, there's an Hermes Paris sign. And once you flip it open, there's also another Hermes logo. The cool thing is the inside, there's not even one Hermes logo, which is really cool because all the other name brands I've reviewed, they all have their company name inside, which is so pointless to me. Anyway, but to me, honestly, is this the nicest handbag you've seen? 
like I know the leather it smells really nice and everything it does it honestly does but I think it's a status symbol because this thing cost $11,000 Canadian that's around $8,600 US but that's not a really ridiculous thing because this is so hard to get and a lot of people aren't on the VIP Hermes list that they have to buy it outside and I've seen it for over $40,000 Canadian just to get their hands on this. Come on guys, that's the price of a car. Is that really worth it for a handbag? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Hermes Birkin 25. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you'd like to follow me on my journey to discover more random products, places, and restaurants, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.